Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 217, contains duplicate, and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. So we're giving an integer array nums return true if any values appear at least twice in the array and return false if every element is distinct. So we can look at the example here. We have an input of an array of integers, and we return true because if any value appears at least twice. So we see here that one appears twice, we return true. And in case example two, we see all of these numbers are unique. So we return false. And we see here, example three, that there's more than a number. There's a number that appears more than twice and we still return true, just as long as at least one of them number appears twice. So to solve this, when we see this, we think we know we're gonna to have to compare each one of these. So we're gonna know we're gonna to have to iterate each one. And when we see, when we think of a data structure that holds unique values, we can use sets. And we use sets instead of like maps because in this case, the, the value part of it doesn't count. We just need the unique part. So we can iterate through nums. And if we see this one's unique, we add it to the set and if so forth. And we, we see that this is not unique. So then it already appears. So we can just exit out of the, so we can just return true and finish it. And if it never contains a true, if it never hits uh, a number that's already in the set, we return false. So here's my mean. So first thing we want to do is create a new set. Num set, we can call it. And now we want to loop through nums. And inside of it, check if num set has current number. If it has it, we, as soon as it has it, we can just return true because we know that it meets the criteria of being at least twice in the array. So turn So if it doesn't have it, we can just add current num to num set. And then if we make it through this loop without returning true, we know that there's you know, no, uh, everything's unique. So we just return false. Great. So here we can create const num set equals new set. Great, now we loop through nums. So for that i equals zero, i less than nums dot that i plus plus. So if num set dot has this current nums, the nums index of i return true. So if it doesn't hit this return, we do, we add it to the set. So num set dot add nums index of i. And if we don't return true, we just return false. Great. So that's it for this one. The time complexity since we're iterating through nums, it's going to be O of n where where n is the length of nums. And then space complexity is also going to be O of n 
because we can create the set and the set could be as long as nums. So where n is the amount of nums. And that's how you solve this problem. Thank you so much.